60 thanks for joining in uh, on this wonderful Friday the 13th uh, yesterday was my birthday I made 48 I can't believe it I'm 48 years old it's crazy but that's all right I feel like I'm in my 30s anyway so oh well also I'd like to thank my lovely wife Mrs. Gone in 60 for taking me to dinner last night and we went to see Hobbs and Shaw the movie was excellent um, I'll give it two thumbs up uh, also in other news, I am proud to be backing John Wick for 2020 for president. Uh, who's going to stop him? Uh, today we're going to go to 210 Performance and uh, we're going to do a couple mods on the car. Some minor, some minor things, but uh, one has to do with uh, just general maintenance of the car. Um, we're going to do something, uh, I, I, I believe in early maintenance, so I'm going to do something to the bullet um, to help with, uh, it, it should help with some of the performance. The other one is just has to do with the shift performance. We all know the MT-82 transmission does have some issues, so I'm, I'm trying to address that also. Other than that, uh, it's going to be kind of informative, more of an informative than, you know, a performance video today, but hopefully you guys will like it. Let me know uh, what you think about uh, what I've done to the car so far. Um, thanks for watching. So this is the BG Synchro Shift 2. Uh, this is transmission fluid. This is full synthetic. Um, and I, I sourced it through Optimum Performance. Hopefully you can see their website and check it out. Now they, they deal with a lot of road racing uh, performance parts and uh, lubricants and stuff like that. Uh, they're really into it. Uh, this is a full synthetic. Uh, transmission fluid this is their kit now this is a whole kit so it comes with the uh, 2.8 liters of the synchro shift 2 comes with the fill pump uh, that you use to, to put the transmission fluid back in the new fluid uh, even comes with a cup that shows you a line where how much of the new fluid should be left over from the bottle uh, complete kit for about $95 um, I've seen some of these smaller uh, oil change places charge $150 or more for this. So this is a pretty good deal coming from Optimum Performance. And like I said, if you have any questions, these guys deal with road race uh, performance parts. Um, they do clutches. They have brake kits. They have, uh, they have the actual uh, the hood vents that you that you actually cut your hood open and, and install these vents for racing uh, to release uh, the heat and also some of that pressure uh, underneath the hood so uh, this is a pretty good company and uh, like I said you can get in touch with them and they'll answer any questions that you have once again we're back at 210 performance I got the bullet pulled up and they got the lift ready for me Old school Cobra up on the rack. This is what we're going to be installing today. Also, this is the uh, Steeda transmission uh, bushing. Uh, we're going to be installing this also. It's supposed to help a whole lot with the shifts and uh, the smoothness of the transmission. All right, so if you're new to the channel, I'm going to show you the uh, some of the mods that I've done so far. Uh, right here, you can see this is the Steeda. This is the IRS uh, support brackets um, for both sides. They kind of they kind of bring it, bring it in together and, and, and stiffen things up. It's supposed to be really, really good for the IRS Mustangs. These are the Steeda jacking rails right here, if you can see it. And this uh, just keeps you from breaking the pinch wells when you jack the car up. But it also gives you some extra stiffness. Uh, so I have the Steeda, they're ultralight, low profile jacking rails. And I also have the, once again, Steeda. This is the X-Pipe. This is the resonator delete that I have on the car. And then up here, I went with the UPR. Uh, it's the magnetic drain plug and it's metal also. A lot of people are complaining about the plastic uh, drain plug breaking. Uh, if it's removed uh, improperly is what causes it to break actually. 
All right, so we already got the field plug out. They recommend taking this out first. That way, uh, if for some reason it's defective or stripped or something like that, you don't drain your transmission fluid out and then don't have a way of putting the new fluid back in. So we took that out first. And there we go. Draining the transmission fluid out that has 5,000 miles on it. Go figure. Now the new transmission fluid that we're putting in this fully synthetic BG is a lot better and it meets all Ford's requirements also. We'll read that off to you later on. But uh, a lot of road racers are using this and it's, it's excellent with the higher temperatures and uh, keeping the, uh, you know, the, wear, the wear off your transmission. So uh, it's, it's premature, but hey, better sooner than later. So it actually comes with a full set of instructions for those do-it-yourselfers, of course, uh, I didn't want to put the car on jack stands and I knew it was going to make a great video for you guys so that's why I decided to bring it over here to 210 Performance and uh, do a video but the, the instructions are very good, uh, very detailed and they have pictures. Alright so what Chris did is uh, right now we're waiting for the uh, the remaining of the fluid to drain out the transmission so we're going to go ahead and tackle the bushing, the Steeda bushing. So Chris uh, jacked up the, uh, the transmission a little bit so we can take this cross member off. Hopefully you guys can see that. <coughs> Cross members coming out right now. And the bushing insert is gonna go in. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and insert the bushing right now. And they just recommend you uh, get it in as much as you can and uh, use some channel locks to squeeze the rest of it in flush. All right, so here's what it looks like with the back side of the bushing pushed all the way through. We'll flip it over for you and show you. So this is the, the side that we pressed in. All right, so here we go. We got the mount back in and we're about to put the cross member back underneath and then we're gonna start on the, uh, on the fluid, adding the fluid back. All right, so we have the cross member back on. Everything's bolted up. We do have the, you can see the drain plug is back in. And uh, we're ready to do the fill. And of course, this was a kit that I bought, so it does have the pump that you can use that helps with the uh, filling it back up, which is awesome. All right, so we're about to start filling, and of course, we have it going up. The tube is going up into the fill hole. And this is probably gonna be pretty tedious, but we have to flush it back in there, so you have to use the pump. And it takes, it says it takes 2.6 liters. Uh, this bottle is 2.8 liters. So uh, it's probably gonna be a while. All right, we're done with the finished product and we're ready to, uh, we're gonna drop it down. We're gonna turn the car back on and we're gonna slowly go through the gears to make sure everything is circulating correctly. And dropping the car down and we are just about done. So as you see, uh, we had a great time at 210 Performance today. I would like to thank Chris, he's the owner of 210 Performance for doing that for me. Um, he could have done this job really, really quick and easy and he took his time to go step by step so we can make the video for you guys. Uh, some of the, even the, uh, the smallest uh, mods, I've had guys ask me to show, you know, how it was done in the video. So that's why nowadays, um, you know, it doesn't matter how simple or how hard it is, I'll try to make a video, installation video for you guys. Uh, the car, okay, the car uh, already is shifting better. Um, that's probably due to the bushing. Uh, the fluid, the, the synthetic fluid, they said it's you need to drive it for a few miles. I'm not sure if it's like 50 or 100 miles, something like that. And they said you should notice a difference. But already the notchiness is gone. Um, so like I said, it's a full synthetic. It's way better than what's already in there that comes from the factory. And uh, it, it, it is backed, uh, it, it does provide everything that Ford requires and more for a transmission fluid. So um, it's, it's, it's coming out really well right now. So um, I definitely would recommend this. Um, like I said, the um, Optimum Performance, their website is on there. You can call them if you have any questions. 
And uh, I'm gone in 60. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you soon.